Is 2024 the right time to buy a house here in San Antonio, Texas? Maybe it's time for you to get off the damn fence. Everybody knows that 2023 sucked when it came to the housing market around the country, specifically here in San Antonio. Word. Buyers were on the fence, probably you. But what we wanna know now, is this the right time to buy? Is 2024 gonna be your year? This is what we're seeing here in San Antonio. You know, if you're a Cowboys fan, you've probably been saying it's our year for the last decade or so. Yeah. Well, this is a different story. All right, guys, let's get into the nitty gritty. We know that in 2022, home prices were insane. You had to overbid if you wanted to buy a real sell a home. It, it was crazy. But according to realtor.com going into 2024, we are going to see price growth decreased by 9.4%. What does this lot. mean? What does this mean? Well, so if you look at that on paper, if you're buying a $300,000 house, well, there's a chance that if this decrease goes into effect, you're gonna be paying about $270,000 for that house. Dude, 30,000 is a lot of money when you're looking at that kind of perspective. 10% and, is huge. Right, and in San Antonio, what that means is a 9.4% decrease in price growth. It's gonna put San Antonio in, in the market with the highest markets for anticipated declines. That's pretty big, man. That, that is really big. I think if you're moving to San Antonio, that is going to be really, really good news for you. All right, so let's talk about some numbers for just a minute. When it comes to median sale price of a home in San Antonio, Texas, through last year, this is November timeframe, the median sale price was about $315,000. Now, this is down about 2% for the previous 11 months. And while on paper, that might not seem like it's much. If you look at the graphs, that means that the prices were at the tippy top of the roller coaster, right? Now, while 2% might not actually seem like much on paper, this could mean that there are bigger price drops to follow in the coming months. Yes. And we we are definitely seeing how this is affecting our buyers already. And this is just the end of January, right? 2024. Yeah. We're already seeing how that's affecting some of our buyers. They are coming into the market and they're getting homes well under $315,000. Man, I didn't even think that was a thing that you could do anymore, especially in 2024. I remember that I thought I wouldn't see a house for sale under $300,000 <laughs> ever since 2020, to be honest. Well, especially with new construction, right? Yeah. Of course, you can always find a home under $300,000 somewhere in San Antonio. Sure. It might not be a place that you would really want to live, but now what we're seeing is new construction homes starting well under $315,000. I mean, we're seeing them in, in the mid twos right now, some of them. And to be honest with you, the stuff that some of these builders are putting out for that price, it's good quality. And I'm not talking double wides or anything like that. Like these are solid construction homes. You're amazing starter homes. So if you are looking to get into a house for under that price, now is a great time because you can expect to see those prices stay around the same or even decrease in the near future. Just to kind of hit that point a little bit harder, new construction sales are up 38% right now. And I believe that that's gonna continue here in 2024. Resale homes are down 24%. So more people are inclined to purchase new construction over resale. Now, right now, inventory in San Antonio is right around four months. And so that's that's not too bad, right? No. That's okay. But more people are leaning towards new construction versus resale. Yeah. And a lot of that also has to do with some of the interest rates and some of the incentives that these builders lenders are offering, man. For the longest time, you saw this increase in new construction just due to the fact that some of the these builders were offering crazy things, man. They were offering things like an insane amount of money towards closing costs, no down payment. And then on top of that, they bought down the rate to mid 4%. In last year's economy, man, when you're looking at interest rates hovering around that six, all the way up to eight, 4% is incredible. That's almost miraculous. Right, so just this month, we've helped buyers get into new construction homes lock in their interest rate at 4.5%, even 4.25%. Those same builders not only locked in at those low interest rates, but they also threw in appliance packages. They still offer $16,000, $25,000 towards closing costs. So right now, these new construction incentives are still at a really, really high level. I believe that that's gonna continue at least into the second quarter of 2024. We'll see how things shake out past that, but right now, looking pretty good. So what does it all mean? What does it mean to you looking to enter the San Antonio real estate market here in 2024? What does it mean? So if you are like many buyers in 2023 who's decided to pull back, sit on the fence to wait for things to shake out, this right now might be the sweet spot for you. I think that you are still gonna be able to get in to great new construction for you know really, really good low interest rates, great incentives. I think that if you continue to wait on the fence through the end of 2024 going into 2025 to think that it's going to get any better 
you may see that sweet spot pass you by. So I think that right now is a great time to get into the market. We're seeing a lot of people take the leap. They're very, very happy. And again, if interest rates go even lower, then you can refinance and bring your mortgage down even more. But as far as incentives go, man, I think that right now is the perfect time. Here's the other half to that, okay? If you're looking to buy resale and you're looking to enter the market when everybody else does and jump into that pool of buyers when those interest rates drop, that's great. But guess what's gonna happen? Bidding wars. Bidding wars again. Flashbacks to 2020, 2021, when you had to bid a crazy amount over the asking price for the house. Well, not saying that's going to happen, but the likelihood of it happening is a lot greater than now if you hit that sweet spot. Now it is true that sellers are a little bit more reluctant to sell their homes right now because they are also still waiting for interest rates to drop a little bit lower. So there's a lot less inventory on the market when it comes to resale. However, those sellers who are selling their homes, if you're a buyer, you're in a great position to negotiate either money towards closing, repairs on the home and, and the like. Again, if you're gonna wait for interest rates to drop lower, more buyers are gonna jump into the pool and you are gonna start to see a lot more bidding wars. You're gonna see home prices in, in the resale market start to go up a little bit. All right, guys, that was a super quick video. We hope that it kind of answered some of the questions that you're asking. We know that it's some of the questions that you're asking because we're getting those questions asked to us all the time. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We do post videos every single week and you do not want to miss them. Before I end my piece, I want to apologize to those Cowboys fans I might have offended earlier. I am also one of those Cowboys fans. 2024 is our year, baby. That being said, if you are planning on moving to San Antonio in the year 2024, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We would love that opportunity to help you and your family make that smooth move over to San Antonio. So again, thank you so much for watching our stuff, guys. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.